Hey, look, I get the nerves. Uh, I get the jitters. I get that you're raw right now, man. I, I, I get the 2016 flashbacks. I get uh, that you think about that night in 2016 when Donald Trump did what uh, damn near nobody thought he could do. I get all of that, man. And your snake bit. You know what's going to happen again. You're scared to death. You've put it all out there. You're scared to death that this horrible human being is going to do it again. He's going to pull it out of the hat again. He's going to reach down, grab another miracle again, right? And and, and this country is going to have to endure four more years of this horrible human being. I get why you're nervous. 24 hours out. I, I get why you're not sleeping. You love this country. You're scared for this country. You're worried for this country. Something happened four years ago that you just never thought could have happened. You didn't see it coming. Maybe a lot of you stayed home. We know, right? We know in 2016 a lot of Democrats stayed home, right? They didn't like Hillary. Hillary didn't excite anybody. Hillary was a lousy candidate, and you didn't take Donald Trump seriously. You didn't think Trump could win, right? He's a goof. He's a liar. He's a blowhard. He's not to be taken seriously. And you didn't. And many of you stayed home. And he won. And you're scared to death that that's going to happen again. And I can show you every poll under the sun right now. I, 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 I can show you, uh, man, in, in, in about 30 seconds, I couldn't put in front of you how different this race is between Biden and Trump, how different it is than Clinton Trump. I, I, I can do that. I can do that, man. I can show you the polling. I can show you the fact that nobody liked Hillary and Joe Biden really is a pretty likable guy and his favorables are. I can look, I can show you all the differences between Biden and Hillary, but you're still going to be nervous. You're still having a hard time sleeping right now. You wanted to relax and you want to enjoy this weekend a little bit, but you're haunted right now because even though right now all the experts are telling you Biden, Biden's seven up in Pennsylvania. He's eight to nine up in Michigan. He's nine to 10 up in Wisconsin. And all Biden's got to do, all he's got to do, all Biden's got to do is win those three states and it's game, set, match. You know that. All the experts have told you that, but still you're haunted. You're scared to death that the polls are wrong. They're really, really, really wrong. And as much as I try to convince you that the polls have to be really, 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 really wrong this year, you still think they might. And we're day out Election day is tomorrow, and you're having a hard time sitting down. Because, again, you don't want this man to get reelected. But you're scared it's going to happen again. All of these shy, quiet Trump supporters in just the key states, like you're worried about that, right? You see the national polls and Biden's way up. But, Joe, that's California, New York, Illinois, all the big blue states, man. All This is just coming down to these battleground states. And in these battleground states, Trump is closer. And just like with Hillary on, on Election Day, man, he's going to sneak it out. I hear you. I get it. And as uh, as Bill Clinton once said, I feel your pain. Uh, I'm not a Democrat. I'm a proud Tea Party member of the resistance, of the Trump resistance. I voted for Trump in 2016. I have to live with that for the rest of my life. And I've apologized on a very big public stage for that. But I, I, I'm i with you. I, I hear you. I understand how raw and jittery and nervy you are right now. But I'm going I'm going to tell you something this Monday, this election eve. I'll be honest with you cuz I can only be honest. 
Uh, I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow. I don't know who's going to win. I'm more informed than the average bear. I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen tomorrow. Uh, And I'm not telling you what I think is going to happen tomorrow so that you'll sleep better tonight. So that you'll feel better. So that you can get rid of your jitters and your nerves a little bit. I'm going to tell you what I'm about to tell you because I believe it. And again, I could be wrong. Uh, We all could be wrong. Everybody can be wrong. But I'm going to tell you what I'm going to tell you right now because I believe it. I believe Joe Biden's going to win by a lot. I don't believe this election is going to be close. I believe he's going to win the popular vote by eight or nine million votes. That doesn't matter. But I think Joe Biden is going to win damn near all of the battleground states. I think Biden's going to win Wisconsin. I think he's going to win Michigan. I think he's going to win Pennsylvania. I think Joe Biden's going to win Florida. I think he's going to win Arizona. I think he's going to win North Carolina. I think he's going to win Georgia. And I think, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think Joe Biden has a real good shot at winning Texas. I, and, I, and I think, I think Joe Biden is damn competitive and could win Ohio. And I think Joe Biden might even win the state of Iowa. I think he's going to win by a lot. Now, if you've voted, thank you. Your job is not done. Uh, You need to encourage everybody you know to get out and vote. And if you haven't voted yet, get off your ass tomorrow on Election Day. Yep, no beating around the bush. I'm not going to be polite this Monday. Election Day is tomorrow. Get off your ass tomorrow. Mask up, show up, and vote. Even though I'm telling you that I think Biden's going to win by a lot. We all have to vote. I'm going to spell out for you why I'm convinced Biden is going to win. And again, full disclosure, I could be dead wrong. I don't think I am. I really don't think I am. I'll start with the 30,000-foot view here. I, I really believe, as I come to you this Election Day Eve, I really do believe there's something going on in America right now that we've never seen. I know in my lifetime, I've never seen this. I have never, ever seen such a, such a wide and broad and enormous resistance to a sitting American president. Now, I know you might be freaked out by his rallies, right? Uh, I right, it, it, uh, he had about three or four of them in Pennsylvania yesterday and five, 10,000 people at these rallies. And you may be freaked out about that. And you may be thinking, oh, God, Joe, here we go. Look at all that enthusiasm. Let me tell you something. Because I know these people, the Donald Trump supporters, because I come from that world, they used to be my supporters. Yeah, they're enthusiastic the Trump supporters, they will take a bullet for him. Damn near every Donald Trump supporter will quite literally take a bullet from him. They're that supportive. They're that unyielding in their devotion to him. They're that enthusiastic. But they are a minority of this country. Not even close. That's a minority, a a, a small minority of the country that you see at Donald Trump's rallies. I can tell you the enthusiasm against Trump 
from the majority of the American people is every bit as intense as the enthusiasm for him from his minority. You know, I look at a number of things, mainly turnout. Going to be record turnout this year. Record turnout. Probably close to a, a hundred million people will vote early. 137 million people in total voted in 2016. It's looking like maybe about 150 to 160 million people may vote when all is said and done. We will set a record for turnout this year. Now, call me crazy, but I don't think people turn out in record numbers to support an incumbent. That just doesn't make sense. You turn out in record numbers to oppose that incumbent. You turn out in record numbers because you're pissed off. You turn out in record numbers because you're scared to death. You turn out in record numbers because you, you, you are, you believe something's going on in America right now. America is under threat. We have a threat in the White House. This has got to end. We cannot, we cannot abide by four more years of this guy. That's the kind of thing that goes through your head that causes a turnout record. Not because you you love and you're happy with the job that Donald Trump is doing. The record turnout, I believe, when, when, when we look at the results in the week and two and three and four after this election, the record turnout is going to be just like exactly what it was in 2018 uh, and exactly like it has been in every federal election since Donald Trump was sworn in. Opposition to him. Opposition to him. That's what's bringing people out. That's what brought people out in 2018. Don't, don't, don't forget this. We set a record, man, in 2018. The greatest turnout in a midterm election since 1904, the 2018 election. And even more importantly, why was it such unbelievable turnout in 2018? Because it was also the Democrats set record turnout. We had the greatest differential between the two parties in a midterm election that we've ever had. That happened just two years ago. The difference in the number of Democrats who came out to vote in the midterm and the number of Republicans who came out to vote in the midterm was the greatest difference we've ever had between two parties in a midterm. That's what happened in 2018. A record turnout midterm year. I guess what I'm saying to you is we're looking at the same thing this year in a presidential election. And the people coming out, the, the reason for the record turnout is opposition to Trump. That more than anything, that more than anything gives me confidence that Biden's going to win. Hey, if you're on the line, stay there. I'll get to you. 844-305-7800. Uh, where's your head on this race right now? Give me a call. Give me a call. 